Welcome to Chalfant Petroglyphs. Here we are at the Chalfant Petroglyphs, site number MN07, according to the UC Berkeley Department of Archaeology. And they are magnificent. They are magnificent. This place is well publicized. It's a side of the road attraction. Uh, it's published in tourist brochures and because of that the site has suffered some uh, vandalism but pretty much the site is intact. And these petroglyphs are in the same curvilinear style of all the petroglyphs here in the volcanic tablelands. Uh, archaeologists have rightfully so um, credited these uh, petroglyphs to the Mono people and they are gorgeous. They are absolutely gorgeous. One thing that separates this site from some of the others is the depth of the carving. As you can tell, the rocks here are not as dark as some of the other uh, grades of pumice we've seen, specifically Rosetta and uh, Bishop petroglyphs. And so they don't stand out that well, but the ones that do, they're really deeply carved. These are some of the deepest carved petroglyphs I have seen in the entirety of the volcanic tablelands. You see uh, petroglyphs that, like this one, have no idea what that means. I mean, I can't even, I mean, my 21st century mind can't even relate to what this panel is. It could be a sun, it could be a tree with the roots coming, it could, I, it could, I don't know. But we also see, you know, what could be bird feet. Uh, we can see snakes. They're snakes! They look like snakes! We could see arrows. And again, that's just us in our 21st century mindset pressing our cultural identity onto these sites. We really, I really couldn't say what their meaning is, except for me, they're very touching, very, very emotional sites. All of these sacred sites in the volcanic tablelands are very emotional when you look at them and know that humans from anywhere from three to 12,000 years ago stood right here and chiseled these magnificent pieces of art. And all, and it is a cultural treasure, and sadly the meaning of it is a cultural treasure that we lost over time. And there's a number of reasons. Wars, genocide, forced relocations. We've lost an incredible amount of knowledge and cultural appreciation of what these petroglyphs are. You see other petroglyphs, you have the, the standard, um, as I've shown in other videos, circle with a cross in it, uh, medicine wheels, maybe um, lots of snakes, lots of things that look like snake motifs. Uh, there's another one over here, uh, it's a six-fingered hand, at least to me it's a six-fingered hand. Uh, some people looking at some of my previous videos, oh that's a road runner. Okay, it could be a road runner with one leg. All the other birds I see have two legs. So maybe that's a one-legged roan runner that is was famous throughout the monoculture. I don't know, but to me it looks like a six-fingered hand. And to me, I mean, that kind of genetic differentiation is kind of common with the peoples of the American Southwest. So I'm kind of thinking six-fingered hand, or it could be a one-legged road runner. You decide! It's up to you, and maybe the mono people. You see, as long as you, as you can see right here, this line, you see this a lot throughout here, the uh, straightish line with other uh, lines coming down from it at like a 90 degree angle. I've seen that see quite a bit here in the uh, volcanic tablelands. This here, it could be two people, or it could be, it could be cacti, this one right here, I'm, I'm not real sure. And this is just one panel. This is just one, it's probably the biggest panel there is here at the Chalfant site. The trail probably wraps for a mile, two miles around. And you need to take your time because there's a lot of hidden nooks and crannies. You'll walk right past one that's up here in the cliffs. You won't see anything on one side, but you'll see something on the other. So definitely take your time when you're here and search out these masterpieces because that's exactly what these are. So here's a uh, slideshow of some of the other works I found here at the Chalfant site.
And that's it here from the uh, Chalfin Petroglyph site in the volcanic tablelands of Southern California. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you like what I'm doing, please subscribe. If you got any questions, drop those in the comments below. And until next time, I'll be your lab partner. Take care. Bye-bye. Thank <laughs> you.